Jules, you know how little I care about kits and yeah. jerseys, but a lot of people do. And some in England are very unhappy with the new Nike shirt. Yeah, that's right, Gab. Because on the home, I mean, on the two shirts, but the home one, um, they added, I don't really know why, because there was no need to add, but here on the collar, they added the uh, St. George's Cross. You're showing, you're, you're just, for those, sorry, the podcast, for those who can't see. On the back of the collar. On the back of the collar of their shirt. The St. George's Cross, which is obviously red on, like with a white background. It wasn't there before in previous kits? Not on the color, I don't think so. Right. But it's like, you know, the, the crest is the same, the colors is the same, the design is quite the same. But instead of having the cross red and white, they had it with like a purpley, they mixed the colors to... Not a rainbow flag. To no, be not a rainbow flag, but for unity to bring, every, to bring everybody right. together. I think that was what Nike said, which uh, on in a year where we would have elections, is obviously gone very political very quickly. Although weirdly, happy. it was both the government and the opposition yeah, parties. Everybody was on the same who, page. All politicians are against it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 they tried something different. I think they missed a trick by not doing a better marketing side of it. Maybe uh, there was maybe something else to it. Maybe they were not I, prepared I, or anticipating such a backlash. I say this is stupid and this is irrelevant and obvious to me, at least people clearly care about it i would just be extremely suspicious of politicians of both parties jumping on this because this is a layup this is a really easy thing to get angry about because then you can go and you can just blame the football association yeah. and whoever commissioned this and you know it's it's like a free three-pointer because there's going to be people who don't care and there's going to be people who hate it. There's yeah. not going to be people who are like, oh, I love this design. You're offending me by telling me I can't have this design, right? So I love this political outrage. I'm not saying your, your, your thoughts aren't real, but a lot of these people are just doing this to milk it. To be fair, I'm more um, uh, mad at the price of the shirt, 130 pounds more than what colors the St. George's Cross has. Because I but think- For those who don't know, how much do pounds. official national team men's kits retail for normally? What, 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 how much would it cost? How much it I don't know, like a club shirt is 80 pounds. Okay, but this is your 18, maybe 90, yeah, but it's still not, it's not worth 130 pounds. And that's, that's where they went too far, more than the St. George's Cross, for me, certainly for me. Gab, just so you can force, so I can force you to talk about more kit manufacturers and sure, how big a deal is that the fact that Germany, after 77 years, will leave Adidas to join Nike? So people are way up in arms oh, about this, even are. though it's not going to happen until 2027. Who knows if Nike will even exist in 2027? Maybe Elon Musk will buy it and dissolve it That's just true. because he can. That's true. Um, look, I obviously Adidas founded by by Adi Dassler, uh, yeah. hence the name. And they all told a stupid story about how like, oh, look, he invented the boots with the with the screw in uh, studs. And that's why Germany won the 1954 World Cup. And it's just wonderful. On the rainy day for the final. Yeah. By the way, do a bit of history. I don't think that's the only reason. And there's some suspicious reasons about the 54 World Cup too. <laughs> I won't get into it. I don't want to get sued. Most of those people are dead anyway, but yeah. Uh, anyway, it's this wonderful creation made yeah. in Germany. Look, the reality is the German FA, I made all the reporting, I said, Nike offered them a lot more money. Yeah, that's why. And I think maybe Adidas felt, oh, look, you know, we got these guys. We don't need to push the boat out. And it's as simple as that. And yeah. German FA got to do what the German FA going to do. And it's a business. Know, take it up with, take it up with Adidas. Exactly. <laughs>